Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Selenium Training again. Guys, today I'm going to cover, I'm going to tell you one very, very interesting thing that uh, easily you can, you know, you can easily you can learn and you can easily you can write that uh, how to design a particular XPath. Any complex XPath also you can design. Okay, I'm going to tell you very simple trick and uh, especially for complex scenarios especially for complex uh, you know xpath you have to create then how to do that okay so before writing this into the script and we have to make sure that okay that xpath is perfectly fine or not we will check on the google chrome and then we will okay write into our script okay so that's okay let's do it if you practice properly with this thing i'm telling you guys you can be a master in xpath Okay, because a lot of people they are asking me that okay, Naveen, that I'm not able to create that XPath and I'm you know having some problem creating the XPath. They know Selenium concept and everything, but the problem is they are not able to create proper XPath. Okay, the proper customized dynamic XPath, how to create that? A lot of people are asking about that. So today I'm gonna tell you that trick. Okay, that how exactly I create. Okay, so first what you have to do. Now forget about firebug and firepath okay on firebug and firepath if you open this particular site and if you if you click let's see if you open any particular site and if you spy any button or any drop down or whatever the problem here is that it's it's give it's giving you the complete you know x path and id and everything but here you cannot verify Okay, on Firebug and Firepath, you cannot verify your customized XPath that your customized XPath is correct or not. That option is available here in Chrome. So I'll open my Chrome and let's see, this is my site, freecrm.com. And uh, what I'll do, let's see, I want to create the XPath for username. So first, right click on it and go to inspect. Okay, and uh, what I'll do, if you see, this is the complete HTML code is displayed over here. And this username field is represented by input field. And if you see this input type equal to text, class equal to this, placeholder equal to this, name equal to username. So easily I can use by dot name. Okay. Easily I can use by dot name. So let's see. I'll, if you don't want to use by dot name, I want to use by dot xpath. So how to create the xpath of username? Okay. How to create the xpath of username? Right. So how to do that so let's see very simple example first you just need to press ctrl f if you are working on macbook you have to use command f so just press ctrl f and you will see that one this find by string selector or xpath option will be displayed over here this this field will be displayed over here and let's see i want to write that okay i want to write the xpath of username field what i have to do i know that my xpath should start with double slash so i'll see guys focus over here i'll write with double slash then what is the html tag the html tag is input see this is the html tag html tag is input so i'll write input okay input tag now if you see the count is it's showing one of three it means total input tags are available on this particular page three so this is the x path of input very simple double slash input it means how many inputs are available three inputs are available on this particular page but with this input i want to add some property so i'll write input which contain at the rate name is equal to the name is username name at the rate name is equal to username how many elements are available only one element is available if it is saying one of one then only we have to use right? always remember if it is saying one of one it means this is the exact xpath we are looking for okay input at the rate name is equal to username in single quotes if you are using at the rate name you have to use equal to if you are using contains you have to use comma right guys so it shows that we have one input field where at the rate name is equal to username okay only one input field is available on this particular page so this is a very simple very straightforward very basic things we have done right same thing for password also if you want to write so i'll spy this password and i know that okay the password name is password 
so i'll simple write input at the rate name is equal to password again it is showing one of one it means this is my correct x path so if you don't want to use by dot name you can use by dot this particular x path you can use fine okay now let's create the x path for this login button so for login button if you see i cannot use by dot type by dot value or by dot class i should not i cannot i don't want to use this i don't want to use because there is no by dot id also and by dot name also is not available then obviously i don't have any choice and i have to create the x path for that so simple same thing double slash and what is the input tag what is the html tag html tag is input simple i'll write input okay and then you have to put these two brackets square brackets input okay input and then i have to define my attributes so how many attributes are there see type value and class so i can use either of them or com combination of multiple and okay multiple attributes also i can do that by using and operator so let's see i want to use input at the rate i have to start with at the rate type is equal to submit okay so you can use this x path because it's showing one of one means it is only there is only one element is available which where input at the rate type equal to submit okay so if it is showing one of two or one of three guys in that case you don't need to use that x path because there are multiple elements also available okay with the same x path in that case right now let's see if you want to make it more uh, reliable x path then you can use one and operator simple you can write and and you can write at the rate value is equal to login see this value also at the rate value equal to login so at the rate type equal to submit and at the rate value is equal to login and if you want to write at the rate class equal to btn also you can write like this okay something like this so this is a x path for login right within within seconds okay within the seconds i am creating x path guys you can use this x path okay now let's see some more let's see for example this is a link right i don't want to use by dot link text and here i can i don't have any property there is no by dot id by dot class name by dot name nothing and the an x path is also okay i'm not able to find so how to create the x path for links simple double slash what is the html tag html tag is a i'll write a okay so if you see HTML, double slash a means one of 19 it means 19 a tags 19 links are available on this particular page 19 links guys okay so let's filter it out a give me all the a what what do you <clears throat> what do you want so i want a which is having text so text is a function okay so i guys i cannot write at the rate text so with text i have to write function like this text these two brackets like this comma what do you want i want a text okay comma features right features f e a t u r e s features okay just a minute okay add okay a text is equal to features right a text is equal to features so like that also you can use okay so i'll do one thing guys i'll create one file notepad file so i'll store all these experts for you guys okay so see this is for text i have written i mean this is for link sorry this is for link this is the expert okay so without contains i'm using now let's see with contains okay guys now see you with the contains so i'll write double slash a square bracket i'll use contains okay because contain is a function so i have to write these two brackets contains what a particular a contains text so guys if you if you don't want to use contains guys see if you don't want to use contains you have to use text is equal to but if you are using contains you have to use comma and the value i am expecting features so how many elements are there only one element is available so i can use this x path also 
so again okay, this x path also i can use okay so for link c i'm creating this is the first x path and this is the second x path so i can use either this or either this let's see some link text is like this features of selenium right so in that case if you don't want to use a text is equal to features of selenium you should write a contains features of selenium you should write contain so i always recommend to use contains okay like this fine okay let's see some more complex examples okay let's see for this button sign up button so i'll spy this and this button is like this okay so for this button the text is written like this so i'll create the xpath see guys double slash this is a button okay and there are four buttons are available on this particular page double slash button means there are four buttons are available okay and a square bracket and uh, okay so what i'll do this is the button and what was the property i can use i can use first property is type equal to button so simple i'll use at the rate type is equal to button but again you will see in one of two one of two means there are two buttons are available on this particular page which are having type equal to button so this is the first button see it's showing this first button somewhere i don't know where exactly this button is available but there is a button okay maybe there is some button or some hidden button is there okay so there is one button is there okay it will type equal to this and if you press enter it will become two of two okay so there is another button okay this yellow highlighted line is okay is representing the html code right so button at the rate type equal to button if you write so i cannot use this particular xpath why because it is showing two elements are available on the page right so now what to do i have to make it more more robust so i have used type equal to button okay and let's say i'll use class equal to btn also so what i'll do simple i'll use and operator and at the rate class is equal to btn okay now it is fine see it is only showing only one of one means only one element is available okay see if you spy this on the yellow line if you spy if you pause over it will representing this sign up now i can use this x path for sign up button for this button right and let's see if you okay so this is another type so for button this is one now i want to use contains so how to use contains guys double slash button contains contains what see if you spy this particular button contains sign up link uh, sign up text right you can see that sign up text so i'll copy the sign up text which contains what it contains text okay and if you are using contains don't need to use no need to use double uh, i mean equal to simple use comma in single quotes write the text so again it is showing one of one so i can use this particular x path also okay so which one you prefer i would prefer to use this one contains one although both are perfectly fine you can use either of them see i am creating my own customized x path right guys okay so let's uh, get into this application navin k and the password is test at the rate 1 2 3 and uh, let's see some other okay let's see i uh, i want to get the x path of this particular this particular link okay this is very simple the, these are all links so let's see i want to get the x path of let's see alerts so how we do that simple i'll use double slash a okay see there are 370 a a mean 370 links are available 370 
and then I'll use contains okay contains what do you mean by contain contains what contains text comma alerts see now see contains alerts guys so there are one of three it means there are three alerts links are available on this page so if you want to see what are different alerts option are available three alerts so I cannot use this so a contains text alert so if you this is the first alert okay where is the second alert just press enter it will move it to two to three two of three so this is a second alert see SMS alert this is a second alert because I have used contains okay so this SMS alert is also a link which contains alerts okay so sometimes alerts if you are using contains you have to be very careful sometimes two of three third one is press enter third one is this alerts and campaign final beta see alerts SMS alerts and campaigns final beta in this particular text also alert is available so contains will check only this the complete text is having alerts or not okay so in that case alert is not recommended so I'll remove this contains from here and simple I'll use a what which contain text and if I don't want to use contains I'll use a contains text is equal to alerts very simple very straightforward so this is for link again okay so if you use contains and there are multiple options are available multiple elements are available in that case we have to use without contains like this okay guys so this is okay this is a thing I'm using for uh, xpath creation right now let's see uh, let's open some other application mm, just a minute okay let's open this application okay so not this application guys just a minute I'll give you better example let's see this example okay and on this example I want to okay so if you spy this this particular drop down you will see that uh, by dot class you can use ID you can use let's see there is no ID then you have to create your own XPath okay so how to do that so simple I'll use double slash button okay so if you see double slash button mean there are 37 buttons are available 37 buttons are available let's see this is the first drop down button now I have to get the XPath of this particular drop down so how to do that button okay button bracket and uh, what are the different properties are there for button for this button let's see I'll use uh, let's see ID <clears throat> okay let's see I don't want to use ID let's see there is no ID so first I'll use type equal to button so very simple at the rate type is equal to button so with at the rate type equal to button also there are 37 elements are available fine but again I have to okay refactor it fine and it is saying let's say I want to use class so simple I'll use and at the rate class <coughs> is equal to this class now see guys in for this button there are three classes btn space btn secondary space drop down toggle so I cannot use this particular class like this guys okay see still it is showing that a particular button is there where at the rate type equal to button and at the rate class is equal to this still there are five options are available five elements are available having the same property type equal to button and class equal to like this so again I have to make it more generic okay so that I can get only one of one 
the exact x path of this fine this is also not working now what exactly i'll do i see that this button is coming under this particular div parent tag so i'll do one thing i'll create one parent tag div like this okay so still it is saying that okay div and under that particular div button is available under that particular div button is available but what i'll do for this div i'll create one attribute class is equal to class is equal to drop down i'll define this drop down class property over here now it reduced from 5 to 2 it means there are still two elements are available which are having the same x path okay so div at the rate class drop down button this so the first one is this okay the first one is this and if you press enter the second one is this okay second one is this okay so both the buttons are having the same property okay both the buttons are having the same property this is the first button having the same property under this div div class equal to drop down under this div one button is available if you see the second under this div class equal to drop down this is the second button having the same exact property same class and same type equal to button the only thing which is segregating that is id okay so let's see i want to include id id now okay so there is one id okay like this so what I'll do, I'll use one more and op and operator and at the rate ID is equal to like this drop down menu button. Now it is one. So this is the X path of this particular button you can use. I see this is the X path of that particular button having three properties button type equal to button at the rate class equal to this and ID is equal to this okay so see although it's not compulsory guys you have to use this x path okay although it is not recommended i can use very straightforward this is just to show you guys it's very straightforward how to do that simple i want a button having at the rate id is equal to this drop down menu button very simple you can use this x path directly see one of one it means only one element is available okay so i can instead of writing this long x path although this will work this is also will work okay but the performance wise which one is better performance wise this one is better guys why because it will see if it will go to first this particular div under that particular div it will go to button and then it will check all these three properties and then it will click on that element but here it will very straightforward simple it will go with that particular button where id is equal to this okay id is equal to this like that so like on google chrome first you can check over here you can inspect any element okay and then let's see this is a this is a link right click on it and simple click on inspect you will see that a tag is available and uh, see with this a tag i can i don't want to use this class because there is no guarantee that there are multiple links are available having the same class href also we don't use on click also we don't use i can use only bootstrap text is available so simple first i'll verify over here double slash a contains okay and uh, text comma this particular text so still there are four elements are available where a contains text equal to bootstrap so i'll remove this boot contains from here okay and then i'll pass equal to this so now there is only one bootstrap okay link is available which is highlighted by this yellow line this one so easily you can write down okay a text equal to bootstrap same thing for preceding x path non preceding x path that i covered okay in the previous session for dynamic uh, handling of uh, you know dynamic uh, web table handling and all those stuff preceding x path also you can verify over here okay so this is the thing guys let me give you one more example if i can just a minute okay guys i'll give you one more example of preceding okay x path
proceeding in proceeding sibling expert see it very carefully especially for uh, uh, you know web table handling okay what i want to do i want to click on this particular checkbox okay how will you do that okay with a single shot how will you do that simple you need to click on it so if you get the xpath of this there are multiple checkboxes so selenium will be confused that on which xpath i have to on which checkbox i have to click on it okay so simple how to how to get the exact xpath i'm not talking about guide a relative xpath how to get the exact xpath of this particular checkbox see the relative xpath of this checkbox will be like this if you right click and copy xpath so it will be like this the relative xpath will be like this guys okay this table t body tr6 and td1 and input so tomorrow let's see instead of uh, six row that uh, okay instead of six row this particular element it's coming on six row now it is coming on seventh row or eighth row so it will be tr7 or right it will be tr7 or tr8 or tr9 so i should not use this particular absolute expert this is absolute expert i should not use that okay so how to get the customized expert how will you create the customized expert now see i know that i have to select the expert for this element which is coming in front of just before the test 2 test 2 okay so what i'll do i'll spy test 2 test 2 so test 2 test 2 is a link right so what i'll do i'll do some uh xpath reverse engineering that uh, river in the reverse mode i'll do the xpath what i'll do this is a who is the parent of a the parent of a is this td and who is the sibling of this td the sibling of this td is this td and who is the child of this td input okay so i'll traverse like this first i'll go to i'll i'll go to a i'll reach at a from a to td td to the brother of this particular td is this td and then the child of this td is input and then i click on it okay so how to do that guys see very very good example if you can get expertise into these things you are you are you can do anything in selenium guys okay so simple as i told you first i have to reach at a so double slash a which contains what which contains text comma and uh, this is what this is text to test two so a which contains or i'll write which having text test to test two fine so sorry i'm not using contains so i have to use equal to equal to test to test two so okay how many elements are there one single element is available now what to do i have to reach where i have to reach the parent of a so i'll use double slash parent okay this parent property i'll use in xpath parent and the parent of what see whenever i'm using property in xpath i have to use parent like this parent is a property and two colon i have to use like this so i'll repeat colon colon okay colon and colon and what is who is a parent parent is td fine so we are still we are working fine one of one element it means we have reached at this particular td right so let's see there are two parents in that case what i'll do i'll define the property of td td also to make it more reliable more robust where class is equal to data slide row so i'll use td where at the rate class is equal to data list row fine so we have reached at the parent of a a to td see i'm going in a backward way okay from child to parent i'm proceeding and then from a to parent td and who is the brother of td so there are two brothers of td let's see this is the first brother and he is the second brother but i don't want to interact with this particular brother what i want i want to interact with this sibling this brother so i'll switch from this td to this td right so how to do that simple i'll use double slash i'll use preceding sibling so again one more property is there preceding sibling guys if you want to reach at this particular td then you have to use forward sibling okay if you want to use okay before this particular td okay so there are three brothers brother number one 
brother number two and brother number three and we have at this particular brother number two so if you want to move to first brother you have to use preceding okay if you want to use the second third brother you have to use forward okay so i'm using preceding sibling again this is a property i'll use two colon 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 and who is the preceding sibling mr td i'll use td and uh, what is the property of td i'll define the property of td the td is at the rate class is equal to again data list row this is the class i'll write okay guys data list row fine so i have reached where exactly i have reached i have reached till here okay till here i have reached now i have to jump to input simple i have to jump to input and input is available in this particular td this is a parent and he is a child input is a child simple double slash input simple and let's see there are two inputs input one input two there are there let's see in the same cell there are two check boxes are there okay so input where name is equal to this contact underscore id so i'll use input at the rate name is equal to contact underscore id right what how many counts only one count it means this is my exact x path of this particular okay checkbox so see the x path guys this is the x path i'll be using x path of that particular checkbox isn't it amazing that instead of writing two for loops you will iterate row by row and everything you will do those drama unnecessary simply you come over here and use by dot this x path and dot click so what will be your code simple driver dot find element by dot x path and this is your x path and dot click simple that's a statement you have to use very simple and this dot click it will click on this particular checkbox right if you want me to write the code i'll quickly i'll write the code for you guys okay so i think that till contacts page i have already written one code in the previous examples if you see yeah uh, i'll create a class and uh, let's see dynamic x path and select this main method okay and uh, what i'll do i'll copy from here to click on this coming on this contacts page right and uh, till here i'm coming over here coming on the contacts page see guys you can write this code very easily enter the username password and coming on the contacts page okay on freecrm.com site and after coming on the contacts page what i want i want where it is yeah i want to click on this test to test to i want to click on here so simple i'll be using this xpath okay i'll be using this code guys driver dot find element if you see driver dot find element see this is the see this is a beautiful customized xpath i have written by my own and i proud of myself that i have written this xpath if you have this kind of expertise you can do anything in selenium selenium is everything is all about 19 percent cases all about xpath how exactly and how dynamically you are writing the xpath okay so i really proud of myself that i'm pretty much comfortable with xpath and they will ask you at a time of interview also easily you can automate any any scenario any damn scenario you can automate in selenium if you are good in xpath if you learn these skills parent property i'm using parent property proceeding xpath okay from first i'm you know moving from child child to parent and then parent of this guy is another parent it's like see i have okay i'm naveen and i'm going to my parent my father my father brother is my uncle and from uncle uh, you know uncle will be the sibling of my father and my uncle's uh, child is input guy okay so i'm reaching over here so if i have to reach my cousin okay so these input this input and this a both are cousins 
so if i have to reach my cousin how will i do that so i'll go to my father from my father to my uncle and uncle to cousin like this same thing okay this is navin my parent is td from this td2 he is my uncle td and from uncle td2 input okay he is my cousin same thing a is available in this particular parent td from this parent td2 i'm going to preceding sibling means okay the big brother you can say like that you can remember like that this guy td and from this parent to another one child is there simple okay so we both are cousins a and inputs are cousins like that so if you run this program guy so see it will immediately it will click on that particular checkbox okay so let's run it it's entering into the application and uh, clicking on contacts and see it's clicking on test to test to checkbox with a single shot it's clicking on it so no need to take care of that okay you will row by row and you know column by column you will iterate everything and you will do such kind of two for loops drama and everything no need to do that let you tomorrow you want to enter you select a checkbox for ui ui also so simple i'll write the same code for ui ui also and just need to change uh, 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 instead of this test to test to i'll pass this thing sorry uh -huh. ui here copy and paste here this is for test to test to guy checkbox and this is for ui ui textbox and then if you run it and see the magic okay so it's entering into the application from home page to it will click on contacts and see simple within seconds it's clicking on both the check boxes no need to take care of no need to handle those boring two for loops and then you will stuck into that uh, you know a web table concept or total number of rows you will find total number of columns you will find then you will iterate and once the test to test to match then you will have to click on this so to avoid this thing this is something amazing you can do very smart work you can do like this with the help of xpath guys if you are good in xpath you can do some amazing things in xpath guys okay so please practice especially with the google chrome forget about firebug and firefox now always practice on this thing okay on this particular okay wizard and this particular field you can examine your xpath and once you get one of one then the same xpath you can check it over there otherwise what will you do you will write your xpath over here and you will see that oh this xpath is wrong again you will see okay what is the property okay in firebug and prior path you change some property again you will run your code then it will show you on the console that okay uh, xpath is not correct invalid xpath element not found or something like that so better you first check it over here and once you get one of one then you are good to go you can use simple this particular xpath directly over here okay so whenever you are creating any xpath first check over here okay how to get this wizard i'll repeat once again simple right click on any element and sorry right click over here and click on inspect okay and just press control f for macbook guys press command f and here this is the thing you can write over here okay so guys that's all for today please practice with the uh, you know this is a very small session i have taken that how to design your own customized xpath on and check and examine and test your xpath on google chrome okay so if you are good in these things you can do anything in selenium guys you will be the you know you will be the master in selenium that's all for today guys i think uh, i'll see you in the next session then thanks bye bye